My name is Garrett Plate. I'm the project manager at uh, AO Reed. I've been with the company for 11 years, and this morning we are looking at the UC Riverside School of Medicine Building 2 project. It's a design build project with P2S as the engineer and Hensel Phelps as the general contractor. It is a 96,000 square foot new uh, expansion for the students here. It is going to be made up of some pre-functional spaces, group classroom spaces, student support spaces, conference room, and administrative offices for the staff here at the campus. We have the pre-functional spaces at the entrance of the building, which lead right into these two larger active learning uh, studios. There's a large partition door that can separate this room into two if they need it. Um, otherwise, that door can be opened into one large learning studio area. And this space is served by multiple BAV boxes, breaking this area into four different zones. Other active learning classrooms on level one. We have all of our air distribution in the center of the room and all the return air is pulled up through a slot on the exterior of the room back to a common plenum return on level one. So here we are on our level one pump room. We have two seven and a half horsepower chilled water pumps, which pull in chilled water from our underground piping tied into the main campus loop. And from here it gets distributed throughout the building. So here we are in the level two tiered teaching classroom. This is the biggest group instructional space on the whole project and we have some BAV boxes served by heating hot water serving the space as well as linear diffusers down the side of the room again with a slot return back to a common plenum on the whole floor. Here we are on level four right above me is one of our two main shafts for our ductwork. We have our common return air plenum coming out as well as our supply air main branching out. And both the supply air mains on every floor are bridged together, which allows the two air handlers on the roof to supply the entire building. If one of them goes down, one of the air handlers can pick up the slack and supply the entire building, or they can alternate and vice versa, feeding the entire building on their own. So here we have one of our two matching Energy Labs air handlers. They're both 37,000 CFM fed by chilled water to supply the entire building. As I mentioned down below, one or the other can supply the entire building's needs at any time. Here are our main supply and return uh, plenums coming off of the air handling units. They come together drop down through a common roof penetration and right now they're in the process of being insulated and skinned. Behind me here we have our chilled water and our heating hot water pumps up on the roof distributing down through the building. All of our heating hot water is created by the heat recovery chiller here has 110 tons of cooling and can simultaneously create 1300 MBH of heating to feed all of our reheat coils down on every floor below. And this concludes our tour of the UC Riverside New School of Medicine building. Um, thank you for watching. Um, thank you to Hensel Phelps for making us a part of the team here. And the aspect of the project I enjoyed the most was the underground work associated with tying into the, the campus loop. Uh, there was a lot of unknowns, a lot of things to work through, and it was great to work as a team with all those uh, 